My dad told me I was adopted and I was about 12 or 13. We were outside shooting hoops one day and I asked my father, why won't you tell me the name of my real dad? I think I deserve to know. And he goes, Mikey, I'm not telling you because of the things he did to you. Michael's biological father was abusive to him at the age of four months old. He got angry and twisted his leg and caused a spiral fracture. When I found out about the abuse, it did kind of freak me out and I started having panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I would drink to numb the pain. When we told the story to Michael about his abusive situation that he was in, he was angry. I got diagnosed with PTSD and found out that a lot of that came from my biological father. I don't feel like my parents understand my PTSD. Michael doesn't know the name or anything about his biological father because we believe still has the potential of not being a very good person. His biological dad would be a bad person. I think in some way that has taken a toll on him. I definitely am still angry about that whole situation with my parents not telling me who my real father is. So you learned this when you were how old? I was about 12 or 13. I can't pinpoint the exact date, but I was about 12 mm -hmm. or 13. He was eight years old. I said, Mom, Mom and Dad adopted you. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, well, you didn't come from my belly. You were someone else's child, but we adopted you when you were four months old. And he said, well, who is my mother? And I told him that it was our daughter. And he said, oh, but you're my real mom and he's my real dad, right? And we said, yes. And he never brought it up again. Mm -hmm. Never. And that's when he was eight. He was eight. Two or three years ago, this came center stage for you. Yeah, because I was very, con I mean, as any other kid would, I got very concerned about it. I mean, mm -hmm. knowing that I came from someone else, like, that's a pretty big deal. Like, that's me being born. It's not something that hap it happens once in your lifetime. You're not going to be born twice. <laughs> so I just felt like I sh should have known or had to know. I think that everybody looks at the world through a filter. Mm -hmm. None of us see the world through a completely clear lens. Nobody. Because we're all products of our learning history, right? For each of us, perception is reality. What we see, what we say to ourselves, what we believe, that is our reality. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if we're seeing the world as a hurtful place, if we're seeing the world as a threatening place, if we're seeing the world as a hostile environment, you got to really do a perception check and ask yourself, is it really that way or is that my perception? We can really, really start getting some messages that cause us to react in a very unusual way when nobody else is seeing the world the way we do.